Hello, just Jamie here. So if you've not yet liked and subscribed, like and subscribe if you like this tutorial. I've got a whole playlist full of different emulator tutorials. My mission is to cover every single emulator known to mankind. So today I'm focusing on Duck Station, which is exclusive to PS1 emulation. It's the very best emulator you will get out there and I'm looking at Windows for this tutorial but as you can see it will cover Android and various other platforms too uh, by far it really is the best PS1 PlayStation original OG PlayStation emulator you will get so let's just go on with this and uh, get on with it uh, so first of all uh, follow the link in the description for duckstation.org and I'm going to just left click on Windows and I'm now going to download Duck. So if you need uh, the runtime files, the VC++ you can see, download that and install those files. But I've got them on my computer anyway, so no need for me to do that. So just download Duck, left click on the link, and you will get yourself a zipped folder. So I'm going to just drag that onto my desktop, and right click on my desktop, and if I go down to New, folder and by the way this is Windows 11 I'm using but this will work on various uh, Windows versions uh, I know for a fact it will work on Windows 10 so uh, if I just rename this folder I've just created it by right clicking it and show more options if I could just go to rename and I'm going to just title this duck station or you can title that whatever you wish so I'm going to just drag this zipped folder inside of this new one I've just created. Go into Duck Station, and if I right click on this, I use WinRAR for extracting files, folders. Uh, you might be familiar with 7-zip or WinZip. If you don't have an extractor, uh, you can download these. Uh, most are free of charge. Uh, WinRAR, you know, is a great program. So I'm going to just go to Extract here. And uh, the reason I made a folder in the first place uh, to extract this, obviously you've got lots of different files in there, your DOL files and a couple of subfolders. So if I just right click on that zipped uh, folder now I just downloaded, we don't need that one anymore. So just delete this one. And that's about it. So if we just uh, double left click into the application itself, and the first thing you're going to see is you're going to need to add a directory of where the program DuckStation can find your PlayStation, your PS1 games. So what I've done for this, if I just minimize it, I've just got a game on my desktop, which is Castlevania. And when it comes to downloading or uh, using a burner to uh, extract your own PS1 games, um, the files you need are going to vary. Uh, some of them is going to give you lots of bin files. Uh, in this instance, I've got two bin files and one Q file. So if you download or you extract yourself a .iso file, you're going to need to convert them to that format, the .bin and the .q format. So the file it's looking for to run the game itself is the .q. So if we look here, we have a Q file. So all that's good to go. So if we go back to Duck Station itself, and I'm gonna add a game directory, and for this I'm gonna just add this Castlevania folder as my directory. Um, obviously, if you've got more than one game, uh, you're gonna need to create a subfolder for each game to pop all your queue and bin files into, so that's your game directory. So if I just left click on this, and if I go to desktop where uh, the Castlevania folder is located. I'm going to just highlight that and select. And it's asking me if I want to scan that folder for games. So if I just put yes, and there we go. So uh, Duck Station has now recognized the Castlevania game. So if I double left click on this, and what it's asking to do is uh, you need to BIOS files to make this game work. Uh, so BIOS is kind of like an operating system and the PlayStation requires those. So I've extracted my own BIOS files from my own PS1 system. Uh, wherever you get yours from, uh, you'll need the same process. So for DuckStation to uh, take on your BIOS file or your BIOS files, if you just go to Settings and if you go to BIOS, 
your BIOS files will then likely give a default directory which in this case is linked up with the duck station uh, subfolders. So what you need to do is just change this wherever your BIOS files are located and so duct station will then detect those BIOS files and your games will boot. So once you have your BIOS files configured and they're in the correct directory, if we just double left click on the game now, So the game is clearly up and running. And I've got this hooked up to my uh, 4K TV through HDMI and it works just the same as fine. And if you double left click on the screen, you will then get a full screen, uh, which is in the 4x3 format. So a few other things you need to do with this, right now I've got my trusty PlayStation 3 6 axis controller connected through USB, but DuckStation isn't detecting it. So in this case, if we just go to settings, and if we scroll down to controllers, and if you then go to controller port 1, and controller type is going to be the type of controller you want emulated. So just a standard analog controller will be fine. And right now, uh, by default, DuckStation has configured the analog controller uh, to read from keyboard. So the way around doing this to configure your own controller is to press on each one of these. So where you've got D-pad and up, if we just left click on that and I'm gonna press up on my D-pad, it's then programmed it to read up on my d-pad and left is obviously left uh, right is right down is down uh, left analog is obviously your left analog so up left right down uh, l2 because i'm using a ps3 controller it's uh, pretty much the same as a ps1 controller so if i just continue uh, going through this And L3 just means uh, to press down on the thumbstick. And R3 on the right thumbstick, pressing down. Okay, and we can close that. Now this time, when I go to press start, it will read. And remember to double left click on the screen, which is gonna give us the full screen. So the game starts just as well as it would on the original hardware. And as usual, uh, for most people, they use emulation uh, just to get a better resolution, to get better uh, options than you would on the original hardware. So if I just double left click on this, let me just run through some more options for you. So if we go to tools, we can even download a cover for our game, which is in our directory on the duck station. However, really cool features with duck station is uh, the differences we can make the game look. So we can clean it up, we can make it look more pixelated. So for this, if we just left click on settings at the top, and if we go down to display, left click on it, you will then get uh, different options for full screen mode. So which you can see, uh, dependent on your screen you're using and how many hertz your screen has got, you can then select So if I just go to a 1080p, which is obviously going to be 1920 by 1080, and if I just select one of these, I'm going to use this one, close, 
So other really cool settings you've got is the ability to manipulate the image, what you see. So we can sharpen it up, we can make it look more retro by putting it more pixelated. Uh, it's pretty much got every option you might think of. So if we just go to display, and from here under screen display, we get aspect ratio. So right now by default it's displaying it in 4x3, but if we go to 16x9, left click on it, you'll then get a more stretched image, which some people likes. So let's just close that down, double left click. And there we have it. So if we go back to settings and go to enhancements, we got lots of other different options here we can play around with. Uh, so internal resolution scale, again, is going to make things look more sharper the higher resolution you get. So for example, let's try this one now at five times, which is 1080p. So close. And as you can see, it's sharpened up the image considerably, but it's also shown that pixelation, where it's cleaned it up and made it so much sharper. So for those who like that pixelated look, it's great. For me, I like it slightly more blurred, not so pixelated. Okay, another option to consider, but this might eat away on your CPU or GPU. So if we just click VSync, uh, what VSync does, it takes away uh, lines, uh, screen tear, which is known as, so say you're playing a, a 3D game, say Colin McRae or Crash Bandicoot, you might see a slight odd looking tear. If we uh, check VSync, that will eliminate that. And for games which don't boot, it will give you a black screen. Uh, if we go to the display option and your top option is render, uh, at the moment by default it's on DirectX 11. Uh, if a game fails to boot, gives you a black screen, then your only option is to uh, change the render options. Uh, in most cases, DirectX 11 works fine. Uh, OpenGL, they all work fine, so that's something to consider. So that's about it for the duck station tutorial. As you can see, this is running pretty choppy now because I messed about with some options. So uh, whatever hardware you've got, you need to adjust it to the preference. So bear that in mind. And also, if you've got e any extra questions, be sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in my description and you can ask additional questions there. Thanks for watching.